bought that whore my house? on beautiful people so as y'all probably already know the have and the have nots came back tonight y'all have to excuse me because i done clean and exfoliated and everything so i bet be looking a little rough because i wasn't even gonna do this review but honey i had to talk about it first of all i had to talk about it because if you've seen the season finale which was season five episode 10 then you already know that the finale was so dry honey i went to sleep on it i done watched the finale about 10 times and still couldn't even do a review on it because it was just that boring so i'm going to throw t season 10 quote what was supposed to be a finale into this video because really it wasn't a finale what a date what they i felt like they did is cut down their season in half so they can get paid for two seasons only giving us one season worth of work yes they they tried to pull it they keep trying to pull it all shows been doing it I feel like Empire was the first show to start doing that mid-season break bull crap. So they could just give us a, a few, like, maybe 8 to 10 episodes, then come back with the last 8 to 10 episodes about 3 to 4 months later, which is the rest of the season they've already recorded. So they ain't going to get paid for these two seasons, giving us half the work. Oh, no. The first season should be, you know... 10 be 18 episodes or 10 episodes the second season should be 10 10 to 18 episodes stop giving us half ass seasons that y'all full of it but anyway let's move on so getting into this episode if you've seen episode 10 the quote finale that y'all know it went off with verona peeping through and david window and when she left the house she was on the phone with candace holly <laughs> my house he bought that whore my house Y'all seen Veronica all in her feelings talking about it. So she pull up to the house. She all mad. She looking for David. Want David to come down side, come down um, the stairs and know she outside. So she done picked up a brick and threw the brick through the window. Typical Veronica. Okay, so David come running down there in his, his little underwear and drawers and on his heels is Erica. First of all, how David runs all the way through this house and not even touch a piece of glass, but there's glass all over this living room. Okay, he must have some tough alligator feet. Uh, he was just walking on air. Uh, his adrenaline was so high, he didn't feel it. Erica come out, I cut my foot. <laughs> We are not even going to get on her right now. But anyway, so let's go, go on and get into this tea. So, apparently, once upon a time, when David and Veronica first met, and they was all in love, and they was some nobodies, and they was dreaming about being somebody, and where they wanted to live, and what not, and what have you, Veronica and David used to ride, about, ride around dreaming about, yeah, when we make it, and one day when we get there, this is my house. This will be my house. That petty ass David done went and bought the house that was supposed to be Ronica's house, and he up in the house with Erica. Ah, ah! Yes, he is, honey. Yes, he is. Is up in the house with Erica. Veronica screaming and hollering, trying to go up in the house, talking about, David, 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 you got this whore in my house? You got this bitch in my house? And I'm tired. I'm going on, carrying on. And David going to tell her, you talking about you tired? You got our son in jail and you talking about you tired? The shade started getting real. And he was talking about, they got to talking about laying it all on the line. And she's like, we can lay it all out on the motherfucking line, David. And David was like, well, let's lay it out. Well, let's lay it out. Well, let's lay it out. They going back and forth. with somebody lay it out? Because, hell, we want to know what y'all laying out. We know y'all got some tea. Share the tea. We, we need to know. Somebody please sit for me because I left mine in the other room. But moving on. So, um... <clears throat> now Veronica all in her feelings and she mad but look Veronica you been messing with David you been sleeping with Benjamin in front of him throwing and flaunting Benjamin in front of him talking all this mad noise and all this crap but now you over here in your feelings about this house girl bye <laughs> you got what you asked for and then Erica you running down here talking and being sassy or whatever but I did I ain't even gonna lie I wanted 
Erica to reach out and touch her. Just put your hands on her one time. Because she needed to be popped, though. But I ain't going to say nothing. But anyway, moving on. Because I'm trying not to be, be non-violent about these shows. We don't want to act like the people on Love and Hip Hop. But anyway, moving on. So... They going back and forth, what you have it or whatever. So finally, Veronica leaves. She going about her business and whatever. Y'all already know she going to go see Jeffrey. That's all she got left to uh, mess with. So I get irritated because Erica in there trying to talk about what her scary arts talking about. Um... Well, she caught herself up in the lies, what she did. Talking about, this is too much drama, David. I can't take this drama. I can't take this drama. And he's like, drama? Why well, you can't take it? You in an abusive relationship. Oops. Girl, you better shut up because your lies going to come out. Uh, talking about, but this is too much. This is different. This is too much drama, girl. Now you lying. That's what it is. You better hurt him tell this man you're falling from the school. What else you got? What else you got, honey, baby? And you I, you ought to be feeling, David, by now. He been doing for you, seeing about you, protecting you, being your superhero, knight in shi- shining armor. And why y'all still up in this darn big old mausoleum? You, you need to put some white paint over some of this paneling. And I done told y'all last season, going to call Ashley Furniture in this dull ass house. Why y'all living in these boarding house? All these windows going to catch this natural light with Veronica breaking windows and stuff. Y'all better get y'all some new windows. Yeah, she going to have y'all living like y'all out in the hood. Y'all might need some bars and stuff carrying on. But David, better be careful how he talking to Veronica because y'all know she believe in the burning bed. She done tried to burn him up in one bed. She better shut up. And if y'all old school, you know me, y'all know about the burning bed. If y'all don't know about the burning bed, y'all better Google it and watch that movie, okay? But anyway... I bet Tyler Perry knew about this. Why he, she, he, she, Veronica had David in the burning bed. So anyway, Catherine didn't have her beauty squad to come over there and try to hook Hannah up. Hannah come out there looking like one of Candace's workers. Done woke Benjamin up, uh, up on the couch. He come out, where are you going looking like that? Looking like you looking. I'm with Benjamin because she was. She had on her, but don't say we <laughs> for the elderly. And had a little face fixed up with a little bit of cleavage. Yeah, she had on her red dress and her high heels. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Benjamin talking about going to be rude to uh, Derek. Wouldn't shake his hand or nothing. Talking about you ain't carry my mama nowhere. I don't know you. Who is this man, mama? Hoppo. Who, the, who this man? Benjamin, you sleeping with somebody your mama age. How you trying to um tell your mama she not going out and you don't approve of who she going out with? Well, boy, stop. If you don't sit down and have several seats, <laughs> please, and you messing with Melissa and Veronica. Okay. Yeah, moving on. So... Veronica on down to the prison or whatnot, uh, talking to Jeffrey. She went down there to torture him some more. Well, they leave, leave him alone. If it ain't just this Veronica, she down here carrying on. Anyway, this boy thinking it's somebody important. He ready to get out of here. So right now at this point, he telling his mama he won't mess with Justin anymore. Pretty much, well, he won't be gay anymore if he just get it out, get out of there and go home. Because at this point, he over it and he tired. He just want to go home, back to his life, and get out of get out of prison. Mainly get away from Justin because he tired of Justin. Justin done got on his nerves so bad. So, uh, Veronica was all ready and good for getting him out. Then on the way out, she gonna run into Justin with his big map. They start playing tit for tat, going back and forth, and he dropping hints and what have you. That oh, did you 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 um sure about running off the road? This that basically, boy, go on and say I ran you off the road and stop beating around the bush. Anyway, he going on and bragging her about laying on Jeffrey Pillar and this that and the other. When he get out, they gonna be living together and all this kind of stuff. If I recall correctly, Jeffrey really didn't want to live with Justin. He really didn't confirm that they was gonna live together. Justin just saying, I gave up my life for you. I gave up everything for you. Jeffrey didn't tell you to do that. He told you to go back to your wife. Now you forcing yourself on him. Whatever. Anyway, all in all, Veronica gonna tell him Jeffrey ain't never getting out of prison. So now Justin done messed it up, and he like Jeffrey being there because he can hold him hostage and prisoner. But see, that ain't gonna last long because what's gonna happen is um. Veronica going to get him fired from that jail, which in a good way is good for Jeffrey. So Jeffrey get, get some peace. But I don't want Jeffrey to stay in jail. So I hope David crawl out of Erica long enough to get the boy out of prison. So as for right now, 
Poe Jeffrey gonna be stuck in jail. And Justin don't know who, uh, and, or Veronica don't know who they messing with, because I think they both equally crack, equally, equally crazy. Veronica keeps trying to threaten Justin, but I don't think she get it. Justin's just as crazy as she is, and he done lost everything. You know what I'm saying? He ain't afraid of her. He told <laughs> Veronica, David done traded her in to, a, uh, traded in his grandmama for a younger, sexier, um, beautiful woman and y'all know how that make veronica feel so he better tread lightly for you i'm sure he already on a hit list somewhere so benny seen the little message that melissa had sent him y'all seen that in episode 10 melissa sent benny that message from veronica phone saying whatever it said about coming over for whatnot or what have you so when he woke up he went on over there at his time he was supposed to go and of course veronica was gone and then uh what was benny's excuse he a man she keep putting it out there what was he to do he she finally got what she wanted which was for for veronica to walk in on them two together and she finally did and melissa couldn't wait to jump up and say he didn't want your old ass anyway He didn't want your old ass anyway. And Veronica was like, <laughs> apparently he didn't. But what are you doing at my house? Blah, 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 whoop, de woo. Honey, just a couple of days ago, you used to know there to get you some clean draws. You feel close enough to do this. So don't try to front on Benjamin now like he ain't welcome at your house all of a sudden, boo. <laughs> Moving on. So now she all mad and in her feelings or whatever because <laughs> y'all gonna drive her crazy all these young women taking up all the men and she feeling aged and dilapidated but she gonna try to put melissa down and call her all kinds of stupid and what have you and what not and guess what happened melissa done yanked her up on her ponytail like somebody holding on to the reins of a camel she grabbed her by the ponytail and snatched her back <laughs> and the next thing i know <laughs> benjamin was trying to break them up but i Screw snatching. She need to be. She be playing some punches on run so she can knock some sense in her. So she's not, she she not, keep on. And she gonna try to get uh, Melissa committed, honey. She can't hold her down. Try to get Melissa committed if you want to, cause she gonna get out of that. And you gonna mess around. Run and be the one in the burning bed. So moving on, Jim and Catherine. Season um season five episode ten. Oscar finally found out where, um, why I was living and whatnot. Gave the information to Jim. Jim and Catherine, they finally back on the same team. Went over down to Wyatt Place, waiting on Wyatt. Wyatt down to the bar, throwing back shots. He done jumped off the wagon. Not slid or feel like he died or jumped off the wagon just because his little therapist left him and he done fell for her, what have you, or whatnot. So they up in him. Waiting on him, he come walking in. Jim all up in his face, messing around with the package in his pocket. Done ran over to the sink, trying to cut the crack open and put the powder down the sink. Why thing for the powder so bad? He done back slapped Catherine smooth across the kitchen. She done slid across the kitchen like she's sliding in the home plate. You're out. Anyway, so Jim running Catherine surprisingly. I didn't honestly think he cared enough, but I guess now he really realizes maybe he do care about Catherine. I guess he better care about it because that's where the money is. If he don't care about her, he don't care about the money. Is that correct? That's correct. So anyway, Jim tried to sit back Catherine. Why I grabbed his wine bottle and smacked Jim in the head? He feeling so bad. They Catherine and Jim down there. You okay? No, you okay? You okay? This fool, why feeling and sweating and carrying on wanting them wanting the powder so bad? He's so mad. That he done grabbed the doggone big ceramic man head statue that look like it's half the size of the top of somebody's body. About to bust both of them and smash them up in the floor up in his doggone kitchen. Chad, good lord. I don't know what's going on, Lord. When we come back from the next season, I don't know what's going to be going on. It, it's too much going on. I don't even know. So, moving on. Candace done drugged Oscar. Yeah, I think he drugged. It looked like to me, hell, the motherfucker that Ooh, I'm trying not to cuss. Look like to me, the mofo dead. He fell out on the bed. She smacked him and going on. He didn't have no life in him. I don't even know if he was breathing. He was down on his face. Candace didn't even turn the man head to the side to see if he was breathing. So, I believe by the time they come back, hell, he gonna be dead. So she talking about he ain't gonna wake up till noon tomorrow. Girl, what did you give him? Horse, horse tranquilizers? That he ain't gonna be waking up till noon tomorrow? That he gonna sleep 24 hours? Good luck! 
Anyway, she get his laptop and getting all the stuff she had had to record with his phone, which was the stuff the wide bank account. So while wide and them over there laying up in the floor, Candace finna go over there and suck, suck him dry time and she getting her money back. So Jill, <laughs> do on to others as others do on to you because <laughs> what David and Oscar did to Candace. <laughs> Why? I hope you can win over there to that there and sinking. All you could do, because Candace about to take your money, <laughs> quote her money, <laughs> and be back on top. But the little senator, whatever she do, she do wrong or what she don't do, we know the senator going to probably reappear by what the third or fourth episode and get her out of this. If not, it won't be the second one. I think by the third or fourth episode and get her out of that. But in a way, and I hate to say this though, I want her to get her money back. I do because she get she though she blackmailed Jim for the money. Jim was being a hoe, and if her prices got a little high, then her prices got a little high. Pay her her money and keep it moving. And anyway, Jim didn't ask David to get that money back. And when he didn't ask David to get that money back, I think Jim should just gave Candace the money back and let let bygones we got bygones ended the fuse feud with Can, uh, Candace and be done and moved on. So anyway, I still hope Candace get her house back. She get Benny's business back. She get everything back. So anyway, we got to wait to the next episode to see what else happened. Like I said, I wasn't sure I was going to do a review for this show, but I enjoyed the show so much I had to make one. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next review. Be sure to smash the like and notification button. Be sure to comment and share if you like the reviews, and I'll see you in the next one.